who was freed of Shuan in his public image as the world was able to see him, and then who was freed of Shuan inwardly. Uh, to the first question, I would answer that he himself wanted to be known as a philosopher. He did not mind this title. And uh, he was a great metaphysician and philosopher uh, who had remarkable command of both the metaphysical and spiritual doctrines pertaining to various religions and knowledge of the historical aspects of various religions, the knowledge of different schools, of different saints, of different sages, uh, and he, his remarkable intellectual vision also operated on several levels all the way from the discussion of the outward aspects of religion to theology, to religious anthropology, to cosmology, and then on the high level, of course, with pure metaphysics. Inwardly, Friedhof Schuon was a man born with a remarkable intellectual gift of being able to reach the inner, the essential, the inward aspect of things and to be attracted to that dimension from the very beginning. Uh, and it's this which led him to the spiritual life, but at the same time had a radiation that emanated to touch the hearts and minds of spiritually inclined people in other climes and in different religious traditions.